to another episode of Mummy's Grace in Mummy's Grace. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, good morning.
Henson. We are going to talk about someone called Matthew Henson this week. Matthew Henson was born ages and ages and ages ago, wasn't he? What year was he born? Can you remember the time? 1866. Well done. So he was born in 1866 and he was an explorer. Can you remember who his parents were? Can you remember? So his parents were poor farmers. Um, so they worked on the farms and they both died, sadly, um, when he was a child still. So he ended up getting a job when he was just 11 years old. So imagine you getting a job when you're 11 years old. So instead of starting high school, you'd be going to work. And he worked in a cafe, washing dishes and things like that. But what he did enjoy about working in the cafe was meeting lots and lots of different people. So when you're in a cafe, you have loads of different customers coming in and you get to chat to them. And he had um, an interest in talking to all the different people who traveled around the world and went on voyages and things like that. So then I think when he was 12, he managed to persuade someone to let him on, on one of their ships, a merchant ship. And so he learned the ways of ship life and being a sailor. Sick. Do you think you'll be sick? What kind of things do you think you'll do? Do get these goggles, do get his armor to see. Not his armor, armor. Like getting his shoes up to see and watching adventures. Mm, intriguing, intriguing. Get, get a grappler so you can grapple up the mountain. So in 1890, Matthew joined an explorer to discover um, the northern tip of Greenland. So that was, um, I think, his first Arctic expedition, which means that it was somewhere really, really, really cold. So what kind of things would he have had to wear? Um, when you see pictures of him, he's got lots of like fur and things around his, his head, doesn't he? Yeah. Because it would have been cold. It would have been freezing. So it's, it's an Arctic I bet it was the elves. Elisa, Maybe elves. Elisa elf. Do you reckon? Elisa one elf. Maybe. Oh, Maybe. did you bet, man? So in 1909, Matthew and his team mm -hmm. were the first to reach the North Pole. So remember, the North Pole is at the top of the world. And they were the first group of people to make it there and he <laughs> when him and his team got to the North Pole Matthew Henson was famous for saying famous for saying I think I'm at the top of the world I think I'm the first man top to sit the top of did he do this top of the world <laughs> that's like Titanic is that what you're talking about? That? Wait, just say, ah, and he just, he, he the did. top of the world. Wait, wait. Zion loves Titanic, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's some information about Matthew. Henchman, Henson, 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 Matthew Henson. Son. Henson. Okay, so next up we're going to go to Time Machine. Get in the Time Machine. Go around. And we're going to land in... Salty Springs. Salt, not Salty Springs from Fortnite. We're going to land in... Authority. World War Two. Do I do World War Two named location in Fortnite? Oh really? And they're like these marauders oh. who are annoying when you live in space. Okay. So we're going to talk about a lady called Josephine Baker. Oh, hang on. We've got people outside. Camera's rolling. Camera's rolling. We are taking it back to World War II. Josephine Baker was born in 19, 
06 and she was born in, can you remember? and her mother was a cleaner I believe um, and she grew up in poverty um, so much so that I think from the age of eight she had adult responsibilities so she had to go out and work but she was really good at singing and dancing and acting and she ended up performing on sorry is that to the head she ended up performing on different street corners and she built her way up and up and up and up and up and got into musical theatre and she ended up travelling to... Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour! Where did she travel to? What country? French. No, not French, say France. France. France is the country, French is the... But she looks Frenchy. So, that, that propelled her into going across the seas to... Can you remember where she went? Bonjour. French. France! No, it's not French. France. She became super duper duper famous for being an amazing performer on stage. And then we know a secret about her. She was a spy. She was a secret spy. So in World War II, she became a secret spy and she'd pass on messages to people. And those messages were hidden in her sheet music. So she'd have a sheet of music ready to do a performance, but really it might have, by the way, Josephine tell so and so so and so that I'm going to bomb this place and then she would then go and tell so and so so and so. Silence on set please. Oh. <laughs> well she wasn't a secret secret spy. Yeah no one knew that she was a spy. We know now but no one then people didn't know that she was a spy. They just oh. thought oh she's a famous singer and dancer and actress. Um, so but how did she went on the stage? Yeah. What did she do? Dancing and singing. So like, you know when we go to London and we'll go and watch a musical? Oh, we used to yeah. go watch Matilda or something like that. Well, she used to do the big shows, big shows like that on stage. But the music that she was reading would have secret messages and then she would go and meet someone and pass on those messages that way. So she was a pretty what? cool... Were you figuring it out though? Not really sure. We'd have to investigate that further. Maybe that's a job for everybody at home. Yeah. How did we find out that Josephine Baker was indeed a secret spy? Well, that wraps up mm -hmm. our Black History icons for this week, darlings. Would you like more? More, I hear you scream. Scream more! So, I was... so hopefully you've heard learned a little bit more. And we will see you. Later. Later.